Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the LG 34UM95. This is an absolute beast of a monitor, 34 inch, 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and a resolution of 3440 times 1440, so a QHD ultra wide screen resolution, which is absolutely amazing. And of course, this is all specifically made for the new Mac Pro, which I fortunately own. So let's get started with the unboxing and the first look after the intro. So of course uh, this unboxing will be quite a challenge just because this box is so huge. Uh, but I'll just try my best to show you guys uh, the well, most important aspects of this monitor as well as also the installation of course and of course the box is absolutely huge i had to back up the camera quite far away to actually get this all in frame now first let's actually take a look at the accessories that come with this monitor um, before we actually grab the monitor itself and here we already have uh, basically the first highlight even though that kind of sounds weird if you think about a monitor because uh, the stand usually isn't really too exciting but in this case it actually is so this is actually aluminum so it's cold to the touch it's not just plastic as you would often find it on monitors and we also have this transparent back panel right here so basically it looks like the monitor is floating in the air so really nice design aspect here to this monitor and you can just see how clear this is but still basically seeing what's behind it absolutely no distortion so very clear material and then of course also the metal right here feels very nice so especially if you're in a mac environment this will also really match it well and also look fantastic now the only issue basically that there is with this stand is that it isn't height adjustable but at least you get two different heights that you can actually install this in so that's at least good to see here on this monitor So then next up, of course, uh, we actually have uh, the instructions right here and all the paperwork. So let's take a quick look at that. We also have uh, two screws right here to actually uh, mount this monitor to the stand, of course. Um, so it seems very simple. Then also, I have no idea what that is. Seems like some glue or whatever. No idea. And then, of course, we have just the regular documents in terms of just warranty and I dropped the CDs which I can't use anyways because the new Mac Pro doesn't actually have any disk drive anymore and then of course also guide with using this actually with Windows and Mac which is quite important of course and then last but not least we actually have some warranty information right there as well so here's then actually what I dropped so this is just a software program for the monitor. I assume also to like use these uh, productive features like splitting this into four screens or two screens, which is very nice to see. Now next up, we have this little plate right here, which I assume is just for cable management with this little hook right here. Uh, not quite sure, probably it's just to cover up the back of this uh, stand actually. So that's also in the box, of course. And then of course we also have all the cables right here. Unfortunately, this is not a wireless display. Unfortunately, this actually needs power. So here we have just a regular plug for Germany because that's where I'm based in. And then the three plug here on the other side. Um, now again, this is also a review unit. So this will also explain uh, why this isn't 100% packaged like if it was new, for example, from the factory. So that explains it a pretty big power brick. But I have to say, personally, I prefer external power bricks because if they break, you can just send them in and get a new one and you don't have to like ship the whole monitor back, which I think, especially with such a huge monitor, is always a big plus. And then we also have here the power plug uh, that's actually for the monitor itself. Now, last but certainly not least, we also have here a monitor cable and this is actually a display port cable. So, for example, for me, it won't really help because uh, the Mac Pro doesn't have a display port port. It just has... Thunderbolt or mini display port to speak technically so um, I'll have to see I just have to use basically a cable of my own I can't use the cable that's included unfortunately and This is already everything that's in the box right here 
Uh, so now we'll actually get to taking out the monitor itself and then of course installing it to its stand. So here we now have the monitor itself on the table. Unfortunately, I couldn't for myself taking it out of the box because uh, it was already like dangerous enough. Now, one thing that's always important is what we actually also have here in the box. And this is this display quality assurance report. We actually have the serial number right here of this monitor as well as also, of course, the model number. And this just shows us how this was calibrated because of course, this is also a high quality IPS panel. And so this is always important to have. Now we have just here this uh, plastic wrapping where this monitor is in. So here we then actually see the back of the monitor and all the ports. And we have a wide array of ports here on this monitor, which is great to see. Now, first off, we'll have the HDMI in two port right here, which is a little bit hidden. Then we actually also have, of course, the power in a separate on and off switch, a physical one, which is rarely to see on monitors these days, as well as a headphone out. We also have built in speakers, so that's also very nice. Then we have the first HDMI in right here, as well as another display port in and then two Thunderbolt ports. But as far as I know, at least you can actually only use one to connect, for example, your Mac Pro or Retina MacBook Pro. And the other one is actually an out port to, for example, then daisy chain a Thunderbolt hard drive. But you can connect, for example, like a Mac Pro on the first one and then Retina MacBook Pro on the second one. So that's definitely something that you have to consider. And then we actually have a USB up port. So this is basically to enable the USB hub function. And then we have a USB 3.0 port right here, as well as two USB 2.0s. And then, of course, also we'll have a Kensington lock right here, which is very nice to see. And so, for example, if you want to connect your webcam directly to the monitor instead of the computer, then that's a very nice feature as well. And then here, a little bit above actually all the ports, we see that we also have visa mount holes. So, yes, you can, for example, connect this to, for example, like a monitor arm as I have or just mount it to the wall directly, which is amazing to see. So now we actually get to installing uh, the stand here on this monitor, but this must be a very easy process because we actually just have two screws right here, which are pretty small. So let's grab the stand right here and I'll actually install this at the higher setting uh, because I feel like this monitor will be low anyways. So I just wanna have the highest setting possible. So I'll just choose uh, the upper one as you see right there. Tighten the first one a little bit. But this is just a very simple process. And I just have to say uh, this stand just looks pretty amazing. And of course, it would be amazing if it was height adjustable, but I assume then the design wouldn't be uh, just as good. So uh, that's just basically a trade off that you have to take. If you want to have a stand that looks as good, then uh, you have to at least sacrifice uh, the height adjustability. But of course, as I mentioned before, with the visa mount right here, you are very flexible nonetheless. And if this stand is just too low for you, then you can still, for example, buy another stand that connects to the visa mount, or then of course also a monitor arm. That's of course always recommended. So now we're basically already ready to go right here. Everything's tightened up. And now I can actually connect also here, uh, this other panel that will cover up the back to make it look a little bit better and then also to, for example, reroute the cables. So this should just click in and there it is, clicked in without any issues. And now we're ready to actually uh, stand up this monitor. And so here the monitor is all set up and this is the LG 34 UM95. Of course, absolutely huge and gigantic monitor. I mean, I'm used to 27 inches uh, with 1440p resolution, but this is just so much bigger and I just can't wait to start using this. Also, of course, for video editing, this should be absolutely fantastic because you have so much screen real estate for your timeline and I'm just really eager to use it and I can't wait for it. And I hope you guys are excited as well. Let me know what you think of this monitor in the comment section down below. I think also this uh, transparent stand looks very nice. And I just really want to hear from you guys what you think about this monitor, what you think of this 21 by nine aspect ratio in general. And I just really hope to see you in my next video. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the annotation next to this video, or also click next or previous to check out another video of ours. Thanks for watching, see you next time.